Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grampion here, hope you're well. Today I got a new video on the launch tool that we got here. This is actually from Launch UK. It's the first model that I got from them because the other two you might have seen already, 123X and 129E Pro. Uh, they were um, not Launch UK products, so they're slightly different and I'll show you the difference today. So this one is 129 Evo. Um, pretty decent tool. It's actually saved me last week uh, when I was doing a Jeep, a Renegade. Couldn't reset the service light on that. Uh, decided to unpack this and it was perfect just in time and it reset the service light straight away. Uh, but yeah, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna show you the tool, I'm gonna explain you about the actual tool obviously because as you know, it's different tools, different models, because this is more basic, you uh, got different modules they will talk to and different special functions as well. Uh, the other tools, like I said, some of them talk to four modules, some of them talk to more than four. Um, like I say, again, this is why I'm gonna put a link in the description below for this module um, to Launch UK. And also you can have a look at the other tools they got there. They're more advanced as well. Hopefully I get them in the future to introduce to you as some of you've been requesting already. Uh, so yeah, let's start by unboxing it. So the show you straight away already comes uh, in a different box from the previous ones. As you can see, that's the boxes I got for the previous ones. Um, so they do come with the case. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this one. But to let you know straight away, this tool does come uh, with four modules. It talks to the engine, it talks to the transmission, ABS and airbag, and that's it. But they're the four main um, things that you're gonna talk to anyway. But yeah, if you need something else uh, to talk to, I don't know, about parking sensors, or you need to connect to some other modules, then you will need a more upgraded tool that hopefully I will introduce to you later on. And this also comes with seven special functions. It's packed pretty well. So you got your cable there. Obviously they need to connect to the tool and the vehicle. USB cable so you can charge it. There we got the tool. Uh, so you can see the scratches there but that is just a protective screen on there. They can peel off. So nice. Tool. Like I say, you got good grip there for your fingers as well. It's light, it's not heavy at all. You got the buttons, but it's obviously a touch screen as well. So you got power button there, um, the connector for the OBD. This is the power um, connector that you got with your USB adapter to charge it up. And that is pretty much it on the buttons. Obviously, you got all the info there at the back. Let's just lift that up, and you have got your case, which is really handy as well, and the manual is there as well and I definitely recommend reading it uh, to make sure you set up your tool and update it properly and register it as well obviously so you got your two years of the updates. Right guys so I connected the cable it's nice and easy obviously you secure it in there uh, but just to show you obviously when you uh, power it on for the first time make sure it's charged up fully uh, you will go through the process of setting up the language and time zone and registering the tool putting the codes in etc um, then after that all you get is the menu, once you went past that setting, and the menu is pretty easy, nice and easy to use. Uh, so you got the diagnose, obviously I already got the update showing up there. Uh, you got all the detect for the VIN number, so it connects to the car straight away, and then you got all the models on there, and etc. Uh, so there's plenty of stuff on there. You got the history, is what the last car you connected to. As you can see, the Chrysler Jeep was there. You got IM, I need to connect to the car for that. You got OBD2, obviously like I said, connect to the car for that one as well. Uh, you got the resets, and there's eight resets, sorry, I might have said seven earlier, I do apologize. But yeah, there's eight, so brake reset, oil reset, SAS reset for the steering angle. You got battery reset for when you replace the batteries on newer cars, you do need to tell the car they had a new battery. Electronic throttle relearn for new throttle bodies or when you cleaned one. TPMS reset for the tire pressure issues with the sensors and etc. DPF regen, uh, really common used on the diesel cars, unfortunately, these days. And injector coding as well, which is really handy. Uh, like I said, make sure everything's up to date on here. Uh, then you got the battery voltage, really handy when you connect to the car to start up, see if it's charging battery or not. But I suppose most of the people got the multimeter for that. But anyway, you got a nice graph here to show you how it's working. Um, then you got the upgrades, obviously when you connect it to Wi-Fi, it'll show up with all the updates you got there. And like I said, you get two years for free. 
Uh, so just update all of that. Uh, then got data, uh, which is really handy. You got the diagnostic records on there that you can save. Uh, live, di live data reading as well. Diagnostic report, so this is what I've done on the Jeep. Uh, so you get all the information when and what faults it found. So then you can send it, share it via email or Bluetooth or etc. Um, so for that, you can register your actual company on here or your personal email, whatever you're using it for. Uh, then you got the uh, DTC library, so you can look up the fault code and it explains what it is. Uh, you got DLC, um, this is to show you where the connectors can be. Uh, you got the feedback, you got the images that you can look up on there. Firmware fix is when you got bugs on the firmware, it will come up there, you can update it. Uh, frequently asked questions, that's the usual stuff. And then you got the settings. Obviously you got units of measurements there. Um, plenty of stuff on there, screen brightness, sound, network to connect to Wi-Fi, time zones, languages, workshop information is what I've mentioned earlier. Put your email on there, your address, telephone, shop name and save it. And then when you send the email to your customer or to your mate or if you just want to save the report for yourself, you can email it, it makes it a lot easier. So you got the recovery, cleanup, and obviously about the tool and the model. So I just wanted to show you quickly the difference between the interface that you got on this tool that I'm talking to you about today and on uh, one to three x and the other tools that I've introduced to you before. So as I can see, the interface is slightly different, so it's all colorful, but like I say, it's not really a big difference. It's still nice and easy to use and all the stuff is pretty much similar on there. Uh, so as you can see, if you compare it, they look pretty similar. So it's not complicated, it's really easy to use and the functions are similar as well. Uh, now, between the tools actually is very little difference visually. Uh, so the buttons, uh, they're a bit more rounded on the tool that we're using today. This one's a bit more square, but and obviously the edges on the sides are a bit different. But apart from that, they're pretty similar. Uh, but like I said, this is obviously more advanced tool that we're talking about today. Right, I'm gonna use my Audi, this is 2016 model A3. Uh, so the ignition needs to be on. Uh, the plug, usually on the Audi, is under the dash, and most of our group cars. Once you're connected, you'll see the screen powers up straight away, and it's automatically starts connecting to your vehicle. I just wanna show you again. Um, so it's unplugged, ignition is on. I'm gonna plug it in. Best plugged in, light came on, and you'll see how quickly it does auto connect uh, to your vehicle. So as you can see, it's a lot quicker than the other tools I've used so far. As you can see, it's already connected, so you just press OK, and it starts scanning your vehicle automatically to all four modules they're going to connect to. So it generates the health report, as you can see. And it found the issue with the brake electronics and the report is already ready to go. So like I said, you wanna share it, it's here. So you got all the details when you've done it, the time and etc. and there you go. So brake, you got abnormal too. So data pass error and tire pressure warning. So two faults there. Airbag normal, engine electronics normal. Uh, so that's that quick. and. If you go back, you obviously lets you enter any of them that you want to connect to, uh, to have a look. So you can go into the brake electronics, which is the one that you got issue with, and it, it'll give you all the details on all the systems and ECUs and etc. Uh, so you got advanced information at the top, module information. This is your ABS module information. Uh, then you got read DTC. So this will come up with the a bit more specific information on there. You can go to code search when you're connected to Wi-Fi, it takes you basically to Google and help as well. Uh, so you got the code there, another code there as well. So it tells you if it's passive or active or etc. Again, if you go back, you can clear the codes there. So just press yes and it'll clear it. And then you got the live data there that you can choose. So 58 things that you can communicate to. So you just tick the boxes and then press OK, and we shot live data on them, 
uh, so that you can activate them. Obviously, when you turn ignition, when you're pressing the brakes, you can get live data on your ABS uh, readings of the speed of each wheel. And you can also record it if you press that and it starts live recording. Uh, so when you're driving, this is the best way to diagnose the ABS issue on your car if one of the sensors is not working. You can start driving car now. It's nice and safe, so you're not looking at it or not touching it. So just drive it, it'll record it, and you'll see when the faults occurring as well. At the same time, it always gives you the battery voltage. So if you press stop, you can save it. So you can change the name if you want to. Press OK, and it'll be saved in your database there that you can look at later. And this is the same for every single module that you got on here. So if we go into the engine, there's going to be lots of settings on there. So go to the engine electronics. All the details on there already. So DTCs, we haven't got any, so that's all good. Uh, then you go to read data stream and you got 372 things to go through. So injectors, your map sensors, your DPF clogged up or not. Uh, there's lots of stuff, EGRs, exhaust, oil, coolant. There's plenty of stuff you can go through and check all the readings. So again, just select whichever you want and press OK. Now I'm gonna give you a tip here straight away that if you don't select too many, if you select all, it takes a very long time to get all the live data. So make sure you select the stuff that you actually need. More specific, if you go only three or four things, it reads it a lot quicker than if you select 10 or 20 things. So that's all I can say about that one. And again, you can save data and etc. And if you're gonna, you wanna clear it all, just press clear code, it clears it all and does another scan, and obviously gives a report, but like I said, for some faults, you need to start the car or drive it for it to come back. As you can see, done another scan, everything is normal now. But if you go to the main menu now, I'm gonna disconnect from the car, go back, and if you go to the data, you got diagnostic report there already on the Audi. So like I said, it's all saved on there, and if you wanna share it from now, like I said, connect to Wi-Fi and you'll be ready to go. That's the diagnostic record that we done. So you press OK. So all the modules are on there. So I know I only selected four, but it recorded everything. So as you can see, just press play. And it starts playing whatever, how long you recorded it for. And it will show all the different controls or like in the engine, will show you the RPM changing, the speed changing, etc. You can pause it at any time to have a look at the readings. But yeah, it's pretty good. You can get the graph from here as well if you want, if you're looking for the graph readings. Uh, so yeah, for basic tool, I would say you got pretty interesting features. Like I say, it's not gonna be obviously perfect reading there, but like I said, you are getting a cheaper tool if you want a more perfect reading on there more specific, then you will need to get a more expensive tool and hence you have got different tools and different prices for them all. But for the basic tool, I would say I'm pretty surprised this is really good tool to be honest to use. So I'm happy with it and I'm gonna carry on using it in the future as well. All right guys, do apologize for the dark background because I'm trying to concentrate more on the screen so you don't get reflection and so they adjust the lights. But what I wanted to show you quickly is on the battery voltage. So the car currently just got the ignition on. So you got the straight line there. It might change a little bit, but not much. So if you're gonna start it up now. So as you can see, it dropped the voltage there as it was cranking the vehicle. And now it should go up. And obviously if you turn the lights on, if you put the vehicle under the load, uh, you got the reading of the voltage there, 14.4. Uh, so you can see that the alternator is working. It's charging the vehicle. So you turn the lights on, off, it should change the reading. And obviously if you turn the fan on, etc. So that's a really good way to be honest uh, to check if your vehicle alternator is working fine, if your battery is alright. I know it's not obviously like a proper battery test tool but this is a good indicator to check your alternator performance on here. One thing that I mentioned before obviously buying this tool you have got a, a connector, you've got a cable which is not long enough to get under the obviously bonnet and activate stuff but you can buy the extensions for it anyway so you can plug it into the extension so you will get to there but like i said you are getting the basic tool and don't get me wrong you are getting quite a lot for what you're paying for and more advanced tools do offer you the wireless connection so you got the little dongle that you basically plug in that 
contacts to the tool via Bluetooth, um, so it makes your life a lot easier. I mean, I sometimes use those tools even from my house, sitting drinking tea in the house while the car's outside and you're doing all the checks you wanna do. Now looking at the reset functions, so if you go on there, the ignition is on, uh, for most of them you need to have ignition on. A brake reset, like I said, you go in there and it takes you to the settings on each vehicle, it'll be different, but it takes you to the settings all the way through and tells you, gives you the warning uh, that you need to have enough battery power, and then you obviously select it, it unwinds your rear calipers, so you can start working on your braking system. You got all the options, it tells you that you need to have 12 volts at least, um, engine off and etc so make sure everything's safe and you go to the A3 models and you got the option close rear brake calipers or open rear brake calipers depending on what you're doing so that's there and then obviously you got the oil reset on the Audis you get plenty of functions for this because um, you can change the interval uh, mileage date and etc and you got two resets for the oil and maintenance as well uh, so that works uh, really well on here as well. You get the options, again, ignition on, make sure you've got enough battery voltage, and you go by auto reset or etc. You go by the options, and like I say, you can play with it. And you've got major, minor service, oil reset lamp period settings, so you can adjust it to what you want it to be. It's nice and easy. Like I said, for these things, I will be releasing videos when I'm doing uh, actual service on my car, so I can use it the whole process and show you how it works. Uh, obviously the steering reset again that'll be the same you go through all the procedures and it shows you how to do it battery replacement throttle body i got one video already on that uh, depends if you got tire pressure sensors or not dpf region you need to have car running for that get up to temperature and they will do the region manual region but be careful with that one do read about it first and you obviously got the injector coding now on some cars it might work on some cars it might not work it depends if it supports your vehicle so please double check that as well well, nowadays it does seem to work, uh, so you can code your injectors, well at least on 1.6 TDI it does work, like I said, but I haven't heard bad things about it yet, so it gives you obviously all the data, sorry, I messed up, you can only choose one, and it gives you the value there, so obviously if you want to put new data in there, you go into new data and put the new reading in there, and then go through all the options, uh, but yeah, like I said guys, this is I'm trying to do it as quick as I can, but obviously it does take a while to try and show you as much stuff as I can. But yeah, it's a really good tool to use, really quick as well, so I'm impressed with that. Right guys, so here we are, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've tried to cover everything, I think I've tried to do it quick, so it doesn't become a bit too long for you. But yeah, uh, the tool is really easy to use, the interface is really clear, I mean you can't really go wrong. Uh, so as long as you upgrade it properly, so you've done all the updates, it will work. Um, like you see, auto scan is really quick. It scanned four modules really quick as well. Um, the reset functions are there. They're easy to use as long as you follow the instructions. You can't really go wrong. I do recommend having it connected to Wi-Fi, so it all works better. Uh, some vehicles do need it connected to Wi-Fi anyway. Uh, but yeah, for the basic tool, I'm pretty impressed to be honest. The all this stuff is there. I know the graphs I might not be as specific as you want them to be, but like I said. Uh, it gives you the basic stuff and especially if you just DIY then this is more than enough for that. If you're a workshop you can use it, like I said oil resets and all the special functions are there. Uh, but yeah I know uh, a lot of you have been asking for a more advanced tool and I will try and see if I can get one from Launch UK. Uh, and also you were asking about the one that hasn't got cables that you can just have a wireless so I'll have a look into that, what we got uh, for the best price and what's more affordable and that covers the wider range, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, send me comments below what you're after and I'll try and cover it for you as well. And also if you want anything more specific on this tool, like I said, when I'm gonna use it for service reset, I will do a short video for that as well to show you how that goes. Or if I'm doing DPF regen or injector coding in the future, I will use that and upload it on there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment below, let me know, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and have a good day, bye.